Now, when I learned this tip in particular, my entire music video career just skyrocketed. And that tip is, What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Justin here again as always, aka Adobe One Kenobi, back in his for a another weekly video. And today we are talking about five tips that are drastically going to affect and increase the quality of your music videos. Now, I mostly shoot rap videos, so I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that, but all of these tips will apply to music videos in general. Now, before we get into the video, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I promise it's gonna be worth it and you're going to like it. And secondly, if you've been here before and you haven't subscribed, but you like the content, please do me a favor and hit that little red button and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Now, jumping right into the video. Tip number one is pre-production. It might be the most important one on our list, because without pre-production, you don't have a plan at all and you're not going to wing a great music video. It sounds simple, but it is very true. So please, storyboard, shot list, plan your aesthetic, plan your concept, plan your locations. Locations are so important. One treatment shot in two different locations can be night and day in terms of quality. Honestly, a location can make or break a video. Please come prepared, do your research. Don't show up thinking you're just gonna wing it, shoot some performances, shoot some B-roll, and then slap it all together in the edit. You may be able to edit some cool effects together, but I promise you the overall video is going to be better if you just plan prior to shooting. Now, number two on the list is shooting not only handheld, but also on a gimbal. Now, a lot of people, myself included, when you first get your gimbal, you get addicted to just shooting on gimbal because it's so smooth, it's so nice, it looks so professional. But trust me, mix up your shots. Shoot some gimbal, shoot some handheld, and mix them nicely because nothing is worse than just having the same tracking shot over and over, and you're going left, you're going right, 15 times in a video. It looks nice, but use it wisely. Now, I would say as a rule of thumb, if you have a slower track, you're probably gonna wanna shoot more gimbal, and if you have a faster track, you might wanna shoot more handheld, and just kind of vibe to the song a little bit more. So, just keep that in mind when you are shooting to use a mixture of both types of shots. Number three on our list is lighting. Now, lighting is one of the most important elements in all of video and film, and the same holds true for music videos. Learn to plan and experiment with colored lighting. See what colors complement each other, see what colors evoke which emotion and which emotion you're going for. I would suggest either getting a set of colored gels or an RGB light, which you can set to any color you really want. Now, with that being said, don't feel obligated to only shoot with these vibrant colors. Sometimes you might wanna go for a more natural look and that's okay. Just make sure you're doing it properly and for the right reasons. Now, number four on the list, and it's something I'm very guilty of myself, is trying to do everything yourself. So what I'm saying is if you're the director of the video, don't also be trying to shoot it, don't be trying to edit it, don't be trying to color it. If the budget allows for it, find a team of people that you trust that are very skilled in one particular asset and trust them with their craft. So if you have a really good colorist, let them color it and then revise as necessary. But trust me, it's gonna take a lot of weight off your shoulders and you're gonna be able to be more creative in one aspect and everyone else is going to be able to be very creative in their own individual area. So trust me, it's going to go a long way and the more people that are good at their specific skill, the video is just gonna get better, trust me. Number five on the list, it's very basic, but it's very important. Shoot and export at the proper frame rate. So I see a lot of people that will just shoot the entire music video at 60 frames per second because they say, hey, I might wanna slow this down or I might wanna do this, I might wanna do that. Trust me, do not do that. Plan your shots and shoot what you need to in slow motion and what you need to in regular speed. So a good rule of thumb would be to shoot all your performances at 24 frames per second and then anything you want to use for B-roll unless specifically you know it's going to be normal speed would be at 60 or 120 or something higher so you can slow it down. If you shoot everything in 60, then when you want to use it in normal speed, you are going to have a weird motion blur because your shutter is most likely at 120 or higher because you're doubling your shutter speed, hopefully. And that is just something that's pretty noticeable to a trained eye if you're shooting at a higher shutter because you shot at 60 and you're now trying to play it back in real time. So just a rule of thumb, shoot your performances at 24 and all the B-roll and everything else, for the most part, 
at 60 or 120 or something higher so you can slow it down. And final point on frame rates, please never ever edit on a 60 frame timeline or export at 60 frames per second, you weirdos. It looks off, the human eye can tell. So please don't do it. Just export at 24, edit at 24. It will save you a lot of trouble. And that is it for today. Five basic but very helpful tips that are going to improve your music videos drastically. Trust me, I've been doing this a long time and these fundamental tips are going to take you to a whole other level. And with that being said, please do me a favor. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hit the video with the thumbs up. It really helps a lot in terms of my engagement. And finally, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content. I post every Thursday and a lot more throughout the week. So until next time, peace.